What is up guys, welcome back to my channel and today we'll be doing a new challenge and um, today's challenge is, um, today is the challenge of football players with children and football players with no children. So let's see who is more dominant when it comes to their playing style, which I know a lot of youth, <clears throat> a lot of youth players, um, have no ch children so and those are young people the older people they have children not all of them but um they're more of a legend style players and you see we already have the people in already <clears throat> so you know ronaldo messi um neymar bruno fernandez de Bruyne, kimmage neuer ramos robertson casemiro um sterling kane and the hamels um, Sancho, Ter Stegen, Aguero, Fernandinho, Dybala, Benzema, Pogba, Alisson, um, all these people right here, they all have children, and, um, to be honest, the people, the youth side, which is, um, Dortmund, we're gonna have them, because they're children themselves, they had no children, these people, um, it says, Mane didn't have no children. I know Son doesn't. Uh, I did my research. It said Conte didn't have none either. And you see, most of the dormant players are still here. That's because um, there's like barely, barely people with no children. But sh I'm pretty sure there are more, but I didn't completely research them. But um, I'm going to do Brandon. I don't know if he has... Let me search it up real quick. Um... So it says he doesn't have any children. All I can see is he's the German kid. That's what it says there. But um, it doesn't say anything about him having any sort of kid or anything. Not even adopted or or um, anything. So, um, does, no. I think... I think um, I'm gonna I'm gonna use him because it doesn't say he has any, and I'm pretty sure um, this man could come in handy. So what I'm gonna do is use him for the time being and um, get into this game. I know Guerrero has children, so that's why I put in Lodi and. Um, that's that's about it. So you see Rashford, Holland, Mane, Lamport. Lamport doesn't have children. Um, Oblak said it didn't have none. And we're going to get into our first game here. Pino Tocasio. I mean, Dortmund versus Pino Tocasio, a.k.a. Juventus. And um, this will be a one round. And if they tie, they'll go overtime. And then if they tie overtime, they'll go to penalties. So we get into this game right here. And you can see, uh, they're all. They're, I'm, I, put, I put both of them four three three due to the fact that um, it's a fair um, formation. And um, you can see these lineup, Pimentel Casio. You may think they win, but I have my trust into Dortmund. One because they're the better club, and two they have better players. And Pimentel Casio, um, nah, I don't really. They have more skillful players, but um, half of them are overrated. So, yeah, I'm going to keep it like that. Am I even recording? Oh, yes, I am. Okay. So, um, 39 minutes. Still nil-nil. Casemiro has the ball in Neymar Jr. And it's going to be a beautiful counterattack in here for Pimentz Casio. Can they get in the lead? No, Neymar still has it. No. Conte, Pat Oblak, and Trent Alexander-Arnold. All we're here to Mbappe. Who sees Son? Son sees Holland on the run. Holland's on the run. This could be a beautiful shot right here. Nothing can stop Holland. And it's a goal here. Let's go. Holland shows you what you don't need to worry about every time you go home. This man is living large. And he's living life over here in the club of Dortmund. Look at this passing right here. He's on the run. Ramos couldn't catch up to him. And boom. A shot in target. Unless that was um 
Van Dyke, who was after him. Of course, Van Dyke is overrated. And, um, but Holland over here dominating the pitch already. And it's another kickoff, which will resolve into halftime anytime soon, one minute at a time. And Ronaldo, horrible passing right there as Holland gets it, but Kimmich to Kevin Borna. And that is halftime right here. Kimmich Kasio needs to change up something as Dortmund can do whatever they want because they are dominating this pitch. Slow dead off is for Ronaldo. No goals, no shots. And um, he is actually is a slow day for him. You can see him telling Neuer, come on, man, you should learn how to block. That face he's doing is just dumb. But that is halftime. And it's 48th minute. Messi's going here for a free kick here. Um, What's the yardage? Messi goes and Son takes it away. But Neymar still has the ball. De Bruyne. Ah! Beautiful shots. He just said, no one's helping me. And he went ahead and shot it himself. And that resolves into a goal. One off for them both. And this man in the tank top during the winter time. This beautiful pass from Neymar. Kevin De Bruyne over here. And then boom. All Black was too slow and too late to react. And De Bruyne in the 50th minutes with his one goal. Helping... Pimentacasio still be in this game. Mertens, who got subbed in for Holland, which was a dumb sub. Conte to Mbappe. And this could be a counterattack right here. Ramos, that's supposed to be a foul. And Tony Cross. Robert sent to Raheem Sterling. Cristiano Ronaldo right here. Conte with a great interception. And now this could be a counterattack for the Borussia Dortmund team. Lamport to Human Son. Son still has the ball. They're just keeping possession to go over time. And that is um, the second half over. And we're going. Wait, what? No. Come on, man. It's a freaking free kick. What? They should have just blew the whistle there. And Son gets subbed out for Rashford. Uh, Son has a good run there. But Rashford, he could be better in this situation. Mane, nothing, and Messi has the ball. Great jumping from him. And that is half, I mean, second half is over now. We go. We are going to jump into halftime. And you can see Mane looking over there. De Bruyne, the man who saved Pimit Ocasio, goes to second half. And that is Dortmund's ball now. Going into the second, um, overtime. 1-1 one, one still. And nothing has been damaged here. Rashford, the great pace man to Sadio Mane. Mane's on the run. He sees Martins right there. But no, Sergio Ramos with the great sliding defense was there. And that it goes for a corner kick for the Dortmund club. And Promethe Casio is worrying too much. The pressuring, which could resolve into a um, penalty. And Mbappe will be shooting this corner kick right here. And someone's going to be subbed out. And it's Arthur for Frankie the Young. And this man in here is going to run with the fake face scan. Mbappe is looking for an open man here. Who can he find? He passes. Rashford, horrible. And Raheem Sterling is just holding the ball to the final. Into the, and that is the whistle right there. We're going to the other half of overtime. Hopefully... We get a score there, but if we can't, nothing happens, and we go to penalties. And there's nothing happening in the 120th minute. Messi's going to try to run this ball out there, but Rashford is there for him, and that is over. And we're going straight into penalties. John Oblak, man who's been helping, and Messi who has been quiet, same as Ronaldo. But this... It's going to be a great penalty shootout right here. What could change here is that maybe who could win here? Comment down below who you think is going to win. Dortmund in penalties or Pimit Casio as Rashford shoots first. And he goes right. And that is a goal. Now, Sergio Ramos 
Beautiful. Of course, he ain't going to miss. But we don't want that. We want Dorman to win. Mertens. What chip was this? He could cost Dorman right here. Bruno Fernandez, the man who's good at penalty scores. They're all scoring at the right side. What the crap is this? Sadio Mane. He, they're all going right. What? Come on, man. Something needs to change here. Kevin, the oh my, and that is blocked. Let's go. Kylian Mbappe. Oh, freak crap was that? Now the real De Bruyne shoots. Of course, he makes this penalty. It could be all over here if Orther misses here. Dorman loses the friendly match. He's going to go shoot middle, and that is a goal. And now it is M2, Gian Oblak. And it's Messi who's shooting this. Oblak could be in total shock. Not really. And, of course, Messi scores, and that is over. Pimitz Costa wins the friendly. And um, this, this is all right. It's all right. Gian Oblak's just thinking about what he should change in the more upcoming real Problem here. And you can see. Goes right. I would have gone. All of them. I would have blocked all right. And. Um, we're going to get into this. Real. Come real mode here. We're going to put Dortmund. Into Juventus. I mean into Juventus. Um, into Italy League. The Syria. And we're going to take out. Um, we're going to just take out this random team right here. Parma Calcio. Is going to join the Bundesliga for now. And um, you can see where's Dortmund. Um, here they are. And we're going to choose a random team. We're going to just choose this team. And we're going to jump into um, the January list. Hoping that, um, hoping that someone is top. And I think... I think the Champions League might be messed up a little bit. Um, maybe because um, I put Dorman into the um, league. And I should have just kept them in Germany. They would have been both there. And then would have been all over. But you can see Pimez Casio is in the lead right now. Dorman is in second with 40, 39 points. Pimez Casio with 41. Zero losses for them. And two losses for Dortmund. Five ties for um, Pimez Casio. Three ties for... Um, Dormant and um that could cause them right there that could cause them the league and Neymar Jr. You can see he has a top scorer And we're gonna check in Champions League to see what messed up here and Matsukasio there Madrid didn't make it and um, you can see that Dortmund isn't here What about Europa League? Yeah, Dortmund ain't here. I'm gonna go Go ahead and check Europa League. See if they're there. Nope. They're not here. But Madrid is here. Of course. They've been here. The, every um challenge we've been doing. And um, you can see they're not here. So um, we're going to wait until next season. Um, But we're going to see it. Go ahead and finish the season here. We're going to go all the way to May. And... So we're gonna. Oh, what? My contract got terminated. Oh, no, bro. Ah, I don't really care if I got terminated. I just need to stay in the Serie A. This team looks garbage. Hmm, this team looks garbage. Um, a little rebuild with this team. Question mark, question mark. What's this team you called? Spezia, Spezia. Um, so clearly Dortmund has. Oh, what, bro? Inter Milan came in, came with the combat, destroying Premier Casio. Dortmund stayed the same place, ninety-one points. They oh, they could have won the league if they probably didn't lose or tie that game. But anyways, I'm probably. FC Porto lost against Pimenta Casio, which in real life, Pimenta Casio is going to lose against, which well, eventually is going to lose against FC Porto. But let's get into this last season here. Um, Neymar Jr. wins the top scorer, and the real the real one begins next season here. 
So, gonna jump into January here already. Let's just make it to 15, so I'll just quick. And then here, let's see where we at with Dormant and Pimit Casio. It looks like Pimit Casio's first, second is Inter, and third is Dortmund. Okay, so clearly something bad is happening to Dortmund, but it's Keep our minds straight. Dorman has been dominating that league right here. They only lost once. And... <clears throat> it cost a second. They tied everything. They forwarded more goals, but they allowed more goals. So that's what made them probably second. Um, Dortmund lost one, tied one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you can see Premier Casio going against... That, or Arby Lysbig. Dortmund, March got Black. And, um... I still think that Dortmund's gonna win this. I have trust in them. And um, Harry Kane's in first, Sadio Mario's second, Kylian Mbappe is fifth place, if I read that correctly. But let's get into this game and finish the season and let's see who will actually win the players with children or the players with no children. No worries at all or worries. And I got terminated again. I got sacked. Oh my. Uh, this how this probably how um what's that dude's name again? That dude who coached Chelsea and Juventus and then got sacked by both of them. Oh, I forgot his name. Um, this oh they're taking me back. Let's go. They could not live with their own failure. And looks like Dortmund has stood in second, and Pimentosu got in first, and um. Clearly, this is what's going to show everything. So, it looks like the game has been played. Um, but you can see here, Dorman has been dominating in a winning streak. Um, at the round of 16, through the final, well, through the semifinals. We don't know about the finals. And Pimitz Casio get almost losing against Bayern Munich. Which is very, very dangerous for them. Because they could not make it. And um, you can see Harry Kane, one top scorer. Mbappe and Mane went down. Well, Mbappe went up, Mane went down. Let's see if they... Oh, I already, we already checked this right here. They lost the same amount. They tied more in Dortmund. Um, they also allowed more goals. But they forward more goals. So, clearly... Dorman knows what they're doing, but um, let's see. And they still haven't played. Oh my, it has to be the 28th. What are we in? We're in the 20. Oh, they're playing right now, so probably Sunday right here. You see, Atletico Madrid won the Europa League, and my hopes are still on Dortmund. Let's see who wins the league, and it is Dortmund, they're the dominant side. People with no children will always win. 5-4 on penalties. They got their revenge on penalty shootouts from the friendly game. And that's how they won. Great game for them. Tough Champions League. I would actually watch that Champions League. And um, well, there you have it, guys. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.